All right, now you have commitment. Things are getting serious. So it looks like there's a relationship that's going to go to the next level. We even got a couple of little rings there, maybe Valentine's Day. All right, let's get into this and see. Things are getting serious. Commitment is going to happen in January. Okay, somebody's got big plans and ideas. They're looking at, they're looking either at rings or some type of tangible item that is going to kind of confirm a committed relationship, I feel. It doesn't have to be a ring. It could be like a, you know, like a promise ring or something. But all right, so you have Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy. You have Pisces, um, Cancer, and Scorpio um, court card. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with me. I can't think straight. Um, so this is going to be shocking for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this. I've never seen this before. You guys, when I do my readings, I've been doing them for how long? I always see something different. Always, always, always. I'm seeing fireworks here. I'm seeing fireworks. Now I'm looking at this and I see like, this feels like a ring on a finger or somebody that like, how can I say it? I want to show you. I have to show you. I, I don't know. I don't know why I have to show you. I just feel like it's kind of like somebody's like, you know, it takes a ring and it's like here, you know, I kind of like here it's for you here with that card. When I look at that, I've never seen that before, but that that's the energy that I'm getting here. Okay. So, and for those of you where, you know, like it's not a ring. Well, it's not that it's not a ring, but <clears throat> it's going to either be communication about it. They want to talk to you about like, like, what are you, what do you think if I put a ring on your finger or, or uh, you know, how about if we, you know, do that? Like, I want a ring on my finger. What are your thoughts about that? You know, like something's getting serious here. I see, I see fireworks. I see you being like kapow, blown off your chair <laughs> with this energy happening. There's like, this person is so hopeful for that. You'll say yes. I mean, this, I just feel like they've been thinking about this, this queen of cups, masculine or feminine energy, like we're really checking their feelings. And I feel like it will come as a surprise to you because this person keeps a lid on their emotions. They don't share how they feel. So it's going to be like, what? Right? Look, it's going to be like, they keep a lid on it. They don't say anything. And then like the lid is like totally blown off the lid, the lid, the lid. I keep thinking of SpongeBob, the lid. So yeah, it's going to be such a shock. So there, this person's going to initiate communication with you in um, January about getting into some kind of a committed relationship or if you want to get serious, right? So I feel like, um, now listen, make sense, will you? I know there's some of you that are like, who could this be? I don't have anyone in my life at all. All right. Like if you are the Virgo that's listening and that you've been locked away in your room for five years and you have had absolutely no human interaction. I mean, this, this likely isn't going to be your reading. This could be coming from a friend, but if you've had interaction to whatever degree, this could be coming from a friend. This could be coming from a lover, someone you're dating, casual kind of thing, um, getting more serious, you know what I mean? Um, some of you, I'm hearing between January 16th and the 17th, there's some type of communication coming forward from this person. Look, again, four of wands, okay? So there's definitely a long-term committed thing. We've got Pisces here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they're showing me a celebration at night. An engagement party, celebration, a birthday party, something at night where this might happen as well. Okay, so somebody's party, 
I know it's not your birthday party, unless you're not a Virgo sun, but it, it, it may come out like at, at some kind of event or a reception or a party, okay? Somebody like, it's not necessarily getting down on the knee, really. It's just kind of like bringing it out of their pocket and either proposing or talking about it. It's not tremendous. Look, <laughs> it's not romantic. I'm not seeing anything. Listen, the only like the only cup card here is the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Cups has a lid on their emotions on that chalice, and the Moon can represent deep emotions, but they're hidden. So this is not a very romantic gesture. This is more of like a logical conversation, maybe that some somebody is having. Okay. <laughs> And I know there's some of you. Listen, I'm I'm uh, I'm Capricorn Moon. I'm perfectly fine with having a conversation. Um, I, I don't want to have this conversation over candlelit dinner. Like, turn a light on. I need to see my food. <laughs> That's just me. So I feel like this person has been kind of like stuck on you about this. Um, a little bit insecure here with the Eight of Swords. Um, kind of a little bit <laughs> maybe that's why they haven't said anything to you um, that kind of wrapped up in their head with negative thoughts that kind of thing um, and then at the same time they have like these whimsical ideas uh, definitely holding you on like some kind of a pedestal let's see what else Virgo Virgo's going to be like, what the hell is that going on in 2024? 2024 is your year, Virgo. I've been telling you. I feel it in my bones. Okay. Definitely going to be some communication, flirty, a little. So there's your cup, right? So it's minimal. It's minimal as far as the way this person shares their emotions. Um, it's almost maybe childlike in some ways, but it's it's kind of minimal. It's, you know sweet text messages it's not a deep pour your kind of love out you know what i mean i don't really feel like that person this person wears their heart on their sleeve so yeah virgo i mean what do you want me to tell you <laughs> all right there's your love right there's your love come and get your home love do, 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 do. all right gemini perhaps it's an energy so um yeah i mean virgo this this is like love and commitment long term you know two people who are better together than alone this is this is like this beautiful this is a decision both of you making this decision you're gonna say yes to this person virgo you're gonna agree you're gonna say yes to this person you're both like wanting the same things. This person just looks at you like you are just, they're in awe of you. And meanwhile, you're looking up at spirit. You're very focused on the spiritual realm of things. And this person's very focused on your physical beauty or <coughs> good looks. Okay, there you go. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. <coughs> this is the love and the decision to get married, to be in this long-term committed thing. Yes, in January. Say yes to the dress, Virgo. <laughs> or the tux, Virgo. You know, however you do it. Like, I know. Some of you are just very formal. Some of you are just going to go to Vegas. Some of you are just going to hit the beach. Grab a pastor. Hit the beach. Whatever. However you do it. You're going to say yes to this commitment. Let me see you. I'm going to just take a quick look at you. Okay. Look at you. You've got strength. You, you like Virgo, um, this person's like a beast. That's what I'm just hearing. They're like a beast. And, and you just have this way of calming them, soothing them. Um, I just heard, um, okay, they just told me somebody's a dentist or some type of physician or someone that does something with the mouth. It could deal with the teeth or the throat or the, um, a tongue? I don't know what you do. Maybe tongue piercing? I don't know. Uh, whoever does that kind of stuff. There's something with the throat, the down the esophagus. 
don't even you're so dirty virgo you are so dirty um <laughs> anyway some of you are a throat goat i don't know what to tell you. I just have to stop i'm gonna get banned okay so yeah it could be like medicine of some sort or physician or dentist or dentist a stencil assistant or something i'm just i don't know i'm just hearing that okay let me move on so you're a strong person virgo you're very strong some of you do some type of work where you're balancing money accounts okay let me see what else oh some of you got them thigh high boots on and you're just shaking your ass as you walk out the door you're like you like what you see you like you like <laughs> um dentist by day stripper by night i don't know what you're doing i don't know you live your life however you got to live your life you do what you need to do but um you like to travel virgo um, do you compete? Somebody, you might compete in something where you win or some attachment or somebody has an attachment to the Olympics, some type of um, sport. Maybe you're an athlete. Someone's a drummer, uh, a baton twirler, <laughs> or maybe you were years ago. Yeah, I, I really, I'm picking up like a lot of balance here. So I don't know, Virgo, you... What's Virgo going to do? Because I feel like you're going to say yes to this uh, this love thing that comes in, this commitment. Show Virgo what their advice is. Okay, you have the Emperor. Oh. Oh, okay. I, I just heard, now I don't know, this might apply to someone who's, if, you're, if your father's still alive, you need to talk to your to your dad if your dad's well maybe you could pray to him if your father's not here um if your father was an aries he's watching out for you if he's not here okay um that was just a specific message um i don't know I, they're just saying th if your father raised you to be someone that's respectable has self-respect, integrity, dignity, achievement, um, a real catch. Um, they're saying to keep doing, keep being that way, which I don't feel like I need to tell you that, but keep being that way. And also um, to view yourself as single until you're not, until it's official. That, that's really just the advice I'm getting. And I feel like I said that in one of my recent, maybe it was just the first reading or one of my recent readings. Okay, let me see. And also, um, put some money away. <laughs> They're just saying, put some money away. Take some money out of the honey pot and store it away, stash it away somewhere. I don't know why you need to do that. I'm just hearing that. In, is it in relation to this commitment or this relationship yes um keep that for yourself and if that's coming from like a father figure or someone who's watching over you or watching out for you might tell you that they're saying okay if this is what you're gonna do make sure that you don't let anyone have access to your full finances <laughs> you need to have a little nest egg for yourself i don't know why does that mean they're gonna steal it not necessarily prenup that's what they're saying prenup you might ask for or demand a prenup if you get involved and is that your advice it looks like it like what's yours is yours and what's theirs is theirs that's what i'm hearing okay okay i don't know do you have a lot of money prenup okay that's that was the message sorry i kind of like led this long dialogue up to that um, yeah, so, I mean, hey, congratulations. It looks like you're going to be tying the knot in January. All right, Virgo, now you have communicate. Compromise, forgive, work it out. All right, let's see what's going on here. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Try to come to a compromise, forgive, work something out. Oh, yeah, somebody's very serious about this. Yes, very serious. Ace of Wands, Knight of Swords want to try to have some type of new growth put everything 
uh, in the past, put the past in the past and try to work on something here, Virgo. Okay. Death card could be a Scorpio. Definitely wants to talk to you. Okay. Wants to have some, like, I feel like this person, whoever they are, is very serious about putting in the effort and, and making something work here with you. Okay. There's definitely going to be some text messages. They want to work something out here. They hope that you forgive them. They're willing to compromise with whatever needs to be compromised. They're not going to be a taker and be selfish. We'll figure out a way to make something work here. And yeah, look at that judgment. That's Scorpio energy again. Could be Aries. This person, um, well, it's Pluto. So no, take back that Aries thing. I don't know why I said that. Well, maybe it is. So this is reconciliation. Everything coming out. This somebody's having like a huge awakening kind of moment. Uh, maybe they were very judgmental towards you and said some things that were a bit off the cuff. And now they want to apologize. They're very serious. They're coming in very direct. So I feel there's going to be direct communication. They want to take charge of this. And um, so in January... You know, maybe everything as you're listening right now is like, what? I don't get it. It could happen later where you guys get in some kind of argument or fight. And this person immediately like, let's not go to bed angry. Let's not go to bed mad. They try like, no, let's try to work this out. Like, will they give you your space? I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Because with the Knight of Swords, that's like, nope, nope, you ain't getting no space. Nope, we're going to talk about it. I'm really sorry. Um, let me see here. Let's try to like re replant these seeds and work on building them up. Okay. And just continue on this journey that we're on. Okay. So yeah. Are you going to have like, yeah, there's going to be some kind of breakdown, some kind of like argument or a fight of some sort with someone. That's three times a Scorpio card is here. Why does Scorpio get three damn cards? I don't think any sign gets three cards. Death card, card is definitely a Scorpio judgment is well you know why I, f I forgot that's why because they're planet ruled like one card will be say for example scorpio but the tower can also be aries okay that's why i said that and judgment is pluto the tower tower can be aries and scorpio because it's mars run it's ruled by the planet mars and judgment is ruled by pluto which pluto keeps things very secretive but judgment is an opening up so that's a huge change. Um, I feel like something gets said either to you and like directly or you push back and say something. Okay. Or you defend yourself or whatever the case might be in January. And there's definitely like we have two text bubbles here so it could be over text something gets said or doesn't get said or whatever it might be or is taken wrong texting is just terrible because <laughs> people just kind of project how the other person is feeling through text <laughs> do you ever see that meme that guy he's like i don't know you have to look it up there's like two guys texting each other and they're they're reading the text in two different ways and the one guy on the one side is like really happy and loving and the other guy's really angry so he's thinking everything his friend is telling him he's being mean but it's not what's happening so when you're texting with someone you're missing all of the inflections in the voice you're you're missing the facial behavior you know, you, texting is great if you're just going to send a cute little emoji or you're going to make some plans. It's not good for having a good, like a deep conversation. It's not because people project or they misconstrue. So that's why, I'm, again, me with my go beating around the bush here, that's why I feel like there may be some kind of communication through text or someone sees someone's text to another person and it is taken out of context that's what i feel like happens here in january text or comment or some type of written word written communication and another person is like no 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 you know 
uh, they open up about it you know what i somebody opens up about what they saw what they read what they thought um and it's like can we just not like another person opens up and tells the truth about like what it actually was or what was meant okay so january yeah there's a little bit of a a blip on the radar but then it's like okay no we're going to communicate and try to work it out try to forgive even if something was not misconstrued and it was intentional that's the part of the blip in the radar that's the why does dunkin donuts still have these wreaths these christmas ornament coffees like are, isn't christmas over so yeah even if it's not intentional and something happens that's found out or something gets said that was hurtful there is this forgiveness let's work it out let's talk let's try to figure stuff out here let's let's compromise let's try to understand the situation okay i went the long way with that it's not what you're thinking this is someone's all up in fantasy someone's um it it is it, it i'm just hearing it's even about someone not replying to a text um because of ghosting thinking someone is ghosting okay so it's kind of like if if someone has their phone off right um and you send them a text and they don't respond ever to the text because they had their phone off i guess and it doesn't go through or something along those lines it's this everything being based on this <laughs> communication it's like is someone ghosting it's it's not what it is it's not what it seems to be that's what i'm saying somebody's like oh this person like they might have been off or out of uh, uh, no wi-fi i'm hearing or maybe they don't have they might be someone who runs out of minutes they have a pay phone kind of thing like pay pay card by minutes or something like that yeah that's really oh my gosh these readings i swear um somebody has like some kind of disaster the power goes out where they live somebody's trapped they're kind of stuck in a bad situation they can't respond there's just all this misconstrued bs i think it's better to be patient wait and find out what's going on okay the three of cups seeking support from friends so virgo If you are this, if you are the Virgo, that's kind of like, I don't understand what's happening. They didn't reply. Nothing's going on. I don't, or this was said or that was said, and you're feeling kind of down. Talk to your friends. Don't get on, you know, your texting game and start freaking out to somebody. Just take a step back, breathe try to get some logical thought process going if this is an emotional situation try to bring some logic into it um connect with the people who can give you good support not don't connect with people i see this all the time and i say this out of experience if you have a friend that's like hates is hating on the opposite sex they can't keep a relationship they struggle in their relationships. They're super insecure. Do not go to them for love advice. Okay? Do not. Seek love advice from people who you know have had a long-term successful relationship. That's my advice to you. Do not go to your friends, same-sex friends about the opposite sex. Go to the opposite sex about the opposite sex. Because I can tell you for sure, sometimes the opposite sex, and yeah, I'm, I'm speaking sex here, not gender. Sometimes the opposite sex, like men, for example, um, might get the text and then forget to respond because they're watching the game. It's that stupid, right? I, and I'm not saying that that's what the situation is, but and I'm not saying that's cool, but it sometimes it is what it is, right? And 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 if that's not cool with you that's fine you deal with the way you need to deal with it but go to your people if you need that support because you're feeling sad or you're just 
regretting reaching out or regretting something that you said go to your people who are going to uplift you so that you walk away feeling better about yourself and the person that you love right um, not someone who's going to tell you, oh, you need to get away from that person because they're this and that because the person who's telling you that never sorted out their own issues, right? That's just a little... I feel like a big sister sometimes here. I need to stop doing that, but I can't help it. Um, so yeah, that's your advice there. Seek out the support of mature people who've had long-term, like that have wisdom, that have experience. Okay, because I feel like whatever the situation is, things are going to be okay. I feel like um, you and this person are going to talk about stuff and um, sort it out, come to like a good place with things. Um, but you got to open up and like not, I, I don't feel like you're going to be that person who's like, you know, taking the, the sword and slashing them, you know, like a pirate. I feel like it, you, you'll be more, once you get yourself kind of sorted, because you might be feeling a little trapped or insecure about it. Once you get yourself sorted, I mean, there will be conversation between the two of you. And this person, you know, will tell you what happened or why they said what they said or didn't reply at all or why they acted the way they did. And you'll be able to, like, talk about how you felt about that. And then, you know, there's forgiveness. And I feel like this person you know, wants, is hoping that there will be forgiveness and you guys can just keep getting back to consistently working and making up, putting effort into the relationship. Aries right there. Okay, so I'm feeling pretty strong with this whole Aries, Scorpio, Mars, Pluto stuff going on here. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean, like, if that's not your person's sign, it could be a Capricorn, right? You two seems like can't let go of each other. You might have a little bit of toxicity in that relationship that needs to be dealt with. Some patterns need to be changed in the way you interact with one another. Yeah. There's the blessing. And the opportunity will come about where you guys will have that opportunity to connect and make the plans that you need to make to try to keep things going forward. And I feel like this person definitely, you know... It may be both of you. It could just be on your end. It could just be on theirs. Where they're the ones who are like, what do I do? What do I say? I, I really screwed up or I messed up or Virgo's really upset because I didn't reply or something happened, you know, and they're seeking support from their friends. But either way, it's like, yes, let's try to work through this. It's a, it's a speed bump. I saw something funny the other day. Why are there, why is there enough car and pavement for speed bumps but there's not enough for potholes can anybody answer that question because that's the question that's my question all right let me see look yeah and then you guys will be able to like start over put the past in the past and and begin a new chapter here you know finish so it's kind of like reading a book and you just get to the the nasty parts of the book you know and then Turn the page, and now we're on a new chapter here. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to work out. The communication is going to come. Hey, Virgo. All right, let's get into January. Continue with January. See what other messages are coming out for you, showing up for you. January 2024. Okay, got liar, patience, communicate, and commitment. Okay. Let's start with liar. What's going on? Oh boy, be careful of someone sneaky, Virgo. <laughs> it's got to show up at least once a month, right, Virgo? It's got to show up. Okay. Who is being sneaky? Somebody, look at that, that Pinocchio nose. Okay. All right. Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Hmm, somebody's not telling you something. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, somebody's somebody's in a committed relationship. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, but they're not going to tell you. Okay, they're they're going out of their way. Uh, could be a Taurus. Could be another Virgo. Um, somebody's going out of their way to make it seem like they are single, single as a Pringle, and that they don't have any responsibility or uh, that they're locked in that they're committed to something okay 
now could it be a relationship yes could it be a marriage yes um could it be a commitment that they have of any other kind yes um they're kind of it's like they're coming forward towards you in january um and that motion forward kind of makes it seem like um it's almost like a little trojan horse <laughs> it's a little trick only for you to find out like they're coming forward as single but they're you know they're actually kind of in a thing they're, they it looks like they're in a thing here okay so i just saw the four of wands so there you go um or they have a commitment with family but 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 okay no it's a lot so they're being sneaky um so i'm hearing this person could be a leo is gonna say to you or they're gonna give you the impression that you know they're at the end of this relationship or they're getting divorced or they're separated which it could be um you know they have tried to give love to the relationship and they've tried to do this and they've tried to do that and it's not working out um but that's all bullshit feels like it's all bs okay um yeah they're gonna tell you they've been trying to be strong they've they, you know the, for the, the their partner or whomever they're connected to and you know it's just a real heavy burden and you know make this love kind of gesture towards you like try to romance you virgo now is this somebody you're connecting with already you could be um is this somebody coming in well i don't see anything stating that this is like new um also like if this is not if this is someone you know this doesn't have to be a romantic partner of yours this could be like a friend or someone that you know that you don't have a romantic relationship with that is just kind of like not telling the truth about you know their situation here okay they're just being kind of sneaky um let me see. Yeah, the star Aquarius energy. Yeah, they're they're just being kind of sneaky. They're like, I will say for some of you, this could be a romantic partner, someone that you know or knew. They may be trying. They're coming in real slow, but they're love bombing a little bit first. Um, they're hopeful, hopeful for like some kind of reunion with you. So we're gonna stick with that, okay? Um, <clears throat> but I see this person, they're in some type of connection, but if you were to look at them or see them in any way, they'd look like they're single. So they're lying by omission, right? So they're not putting it out there that they have another person, but they're not stopping it if it shows up. They're just kind of, they, they seem like they're single, living all by themselves, doing whatever they do on their own. Okay. <laughs> it's a fixed sign. I feel strong about that because you have strength, you have the star, um, and you have the Hierophant, which are the Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo, which are fixed signs. So that's an energy of someone who's just not budging. Okay, that's three of the fixed signs. Um, they're playing the victim. Poor me. Things are really tough. You know, um, their their relationship. Either they're acting like they're single, or or you find out that they're not, and <clears throat> they're just playing this victim. This is always like my damsel in distress on the tracks. Help me, help me. Yeah, there's a little bit of that going on here with this person. So I feel like this is a like a message for you to you know keep your head on the swivel a little bit ask some questions um you know this person is going to be very flirtatious with you super excited to communicate and talk with you but yeah they're they're look at that they're keeping these secrets here virgo yes okay high priestess piscean energy there yep keeping blocking the secret being defensive so if you try to ask them any questions i told you to ask questions but if you do ask, 
um, they're just going to, like I said, omit. They're not going to say anything. And they're going to keep the flirtation with you very light. So I feel like your advice here is not to get overly excited until you know for a fact. Like the evidence is clear that this person is not in any kind of a relationship. So January, this is going to show up. Let me just see here. Okay. Five of Cups. Hmm. Two of Swords. Yeah, trust your gut, Virgo. If you already know this person and you somehow find out this month that this person's been keeping this very important fact hidden, um, <clears throat> you might decide to block them or just not engage with this person. It might, you know you'll spill a cup you'll spill like three cups but you, you'll still have two cups standing so i don't feel like it's going to break you down i feel like it's going to be kind of sad and you're going to just probably feel like you know regretful that this person could not be honest with you and that you kind of maybe were hopeful with that star card yeah, I just feel like you might just breadcrumb the person, if anything. You might not cut them off completely. You might just be less available. Just kind of wean off. <laughs> wean off. <laughs> yeah, this person... Um, I feel like... Uh, so we're getting into advice, and I really feel like, Virgo, until you're actually... Until it's actually confirmed that you're in a relationship with anyone, you're single. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. I, I just kind of have this thing, like, the whole boyfriend-girlfriend thing, when you're, like, in up, upper ages, is, like, I feel like that's for high schoolers, boyfriend-girlfriend, because you have to be. You can't be married when you're in high school. You know what I mean? I, like, I just kind of feel like if you're that person, you know, anybody could say anything, but, like, to really go the distance inside a marriage document and I know people do do that and that's not that's not really not a lot of people honor those contracts but there's just something about going the distance like someone going the distance with you is really what confirms it not just saying because anybody can give lip service not just saying oh yeah Virgo's my girlfriend boyfriend like it's my other half or my significant other i mean i i don't know i just kind of feel like your advice here is you know drop pennies in people's coin slot and don't invest any more than that until you know for a fact that that something real is happening in january otherwise you're just going to spin your wheels you're just going to waste time trying to figure out you know don't if you're clueless or you don't know what you are with someone and somebody's not telling you and the lines are very blurry then that's what it is, a blurred relationship. And it's not, you know, like sometimes you just have to accept what something is. And then it's kind of like I feel like if you're a physician and you do a diagnosis and you can't figure out what, you know, your, your patient has, um, you can't really apply any kind of treatment until until you figure out. So you just got to leave it alone and and not do anything. And, and if you do figure out what it is, then you know what kind of treatment you need to give to the the patient right so it's kind of for me it's very practical i know <laughs> it's like where's where's your heart cal no i mean i i think it's okay to love and i think it's okay to have the heart but i think you have to like be practical about your relationship you know um whatever relationship you might be in so yeah i do kind of feel like yeah this person you know even if you just kind of block them or just pull away a little bit they'll they'll still be you know kind of circling around because the six of pentacles the six is just about reaching out seeing how you are doing that kind of thing i feel like the, per the person will just kind of keep reaching out to you okay virgo and capricorn so that they could be significant in yeah like i'm not seeing anything this is just a snapshot for january i just feel like you may find out or you may already know and your intuition just gets confirmed here 
Um, but I don't see you being deeply upset about anything. I just feel like you're kind of like, oh, okay, you worth somebody else? Okay, well, I'm not available for that. So next, <laughs> if, if that's, you know, if you're that person who's looking for something more than, um, you know, just a casual relationship. If you're not, this person is available for a casual thing because they, they won't be able to give all that much because they have, yeah, see, if anything, they're going to give you the, the bone, but they don't have anything else really to offer. They're very indifferent to any kind of love because they have a connection with somebody else, you know. Um, yeah, not the greatest message, but great. It's bittersweet because some of you, I know it's it's not for all of you, and I'm not predicting that like if you're in a relationship right now that person like everything's great do not take this message and then start snooping around um to find out if your person's lying to you Let, let's we're not doing that this is that's why we use resonate if you're listening to this and you're like well it resonates because i fear that well that's not your message your intuition is for those of you who are like, oh no, I've I've I've, kind of, I've known this for a while. It's not fear based. I just it just needed confirmation of that. Okay, Virgo. Let me just get a couple more messages here for you and see. All right, you've got the Queen of Wands. You've got the King of Wands. Yeah, your person's out there, Virgo. Your person, the one who's meant for you, is out there. Two fire sign energies. That's a match. Okay, passionate about each other, will boldly go forward together in love and in a relationship. So, you know, if this isn't the one for you, um, I just feel like your advice is to just keep yourself available for the person who is for you. Okay, here we go. One more. Okay, yeah. So, there you go. Things will balance out yes as far as love goes in the month of january all right virgo good luck all right virgo you have patience just a few more months good things come to those who wait so you have some good stuff coming coming to you in a few more months i'm going to say march 2024 what's coming towards virgo you need to be patient what's this good stuff that's coming okay you've got the queen of cups this could be a cancer scorpio pisces coming towards you or being significant in March. Oh, death card could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, Devil. All right. Okay. 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 So, um, You're think, uh, it's, it's a struggle they're saying for you to have some patience right now. Right now. In the next few, more, in the next few months, it's going to be tough. That's why, that's why it's, um, you're being asked to be patient. Um, you got to let go, I'm hearing. You got to let go. You, like you have to... Uh, death doesn't come by itself. There's always a new beginning after the death card. Okay, Death is not a final card. You know, people look at death and they're like, oh, it's final, it's over. It's not. Nothing ever ends. Energy just keeps flowing. So there is no ending to things, right? There may be temporary pauses, but there's never really an end, okay? Um, I feel like um, you got to let go of this obsession, you might have some kind of obsession to communicate with someone or to express how you feel. Okay, so it looks like they're talking to you. Now, it could be to um, a water sign, but this can be reversed as well. Um, and some of you I'm hearing um, completely different than uh, a completely different off this off the beaten path here some of you are going to give up some kind of an addiction yes and by march it looks like march march might be what i want to say a quit date just a few more months good things come so there's good there's whatever you need to put an end to 
uh, over uh, obsessing about um, an addiction, um, a relationship, a particular person, an idea, whatever it is that you are so focused on yourself and your feelings and your emotions, um, they're saying, <clears throat> let it go. It will come back to you threefold. <clears throat> and I'm not talking about alcohol or drugs. <laughs> the good will come back to you threefold if you let whatever has you bound. That's that's the that's the strongest message. Okay, whatever you like whatever you feel like you can't live without, person, place, or a thing, let it go. The good, the good of that will come back to you threefold, okay? For some of you, if it's a person that you're just heartbroken about, let that person go, okay? Um, you will hear from them again in about three months' time, and it will be very, it'll be very, very positive, okay? If something you feel has ended and it's difficult for you to transition, just it's an everyday task, you don't just wake up and then you're like thinking about somebody and then it's like, oh, damn, I can't let them go. Yes, you can. You have to actually cut that cord every day. Some people think, oh, I cut the cord once. <laughs> well, I cut the cord to my children and they're still around. No, you, you have to do it like every single day, right? Every day you wake up in the morning, you're thinking about something, a person, place, or thing, and you have to take action to remind yourself this is what I'm doing today I'm focusing on only today I'm cutting the cord of this thing okay but you have to be patient with yourself right that's the biggest message here now let me see here it's just kind of like yeah whatever's meant for me will be for me and what isn't I don't have to worry about it that's all whatever comes in into my path will be for me and i'm gonna i'm not gonna stress about that i'm just gonna be happy enjoy my life go listen to my 80s mixtape while i'm at the gym little in sync that's 90s excuse me okay um uh 80s 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 boy bands uh what i can't think of their name oh shit jordan you know all them guys <laughs> what were they called <laughs> Leave a comment. I'll, I'll remember as the reading goes on or afterwards. I'm ha like, this is something, I don't know if you guys know. You've been with me a long time. The older I get, the more I get these brain blocks. Happens to me all the time. I, I want to say Backstreet Boys, but no, that's the 90s. New Kids on the Block. There it is. Go listen to your new kids. or your, or, uh, Yeah, go listen to your new kids on the block. <laughs> Mixtape. Get in your happy place, Virgo right? Just let things go. Positive energy. Music can be very uplifting. You know, go, go, go get into that uplifting place. I don't care. Go for a walk. Drive around in your car. Go for, plan a road trip. Do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy. Just be patient. Let things like work on you. Work on yourself. It, this, whatever it is, is going to come back to you and it's going to be good. And it's going to happen like when you're least expecting it. So March, March is significant. You're, some of you are going to get an apology. You're going to hear from someone. They're going to say they're sorry for what they did and how they can make it up to you and put in the effort. Um, or someone's just going to come in and be ready to put in the effort. Or you're going to get some support as far as trying to make something work here. Look, wonderful. Six of Wands success achievement you're gonna be up on that high horse virgo and in a good way not too high not too low celebrated you're gonna have that celebration show me what this march thing has to do with all right king of pentacles so there could be a connection with a water sign or an earth sign in march could be an air sign let's see okay yeah things are going to come into balance there's a new beginning happening in march and that's perfect because whenever i look at this card i always feel like this is a very spring card spring love how does it go <laughs> you my spring love <laughs> who sang that I can't baby face i can't remember you guys i'm really like hitting some serious 80s music here 
Um, so like, you know, there's blooms. Everything is starting to bloom. New growth is happening. The spring. You might have snow or cloudy gray clouds around you. Maybe now or going forward. You know, it, there'll be, I feel like there's going to be um, in March. It's either gray, gray clouds, which if you live in an area that's not generally get rain, it's going to be odd to see it. Um, or there's going to be snow. Um, and if you live in an area that doesn't get snow, you might see it on the news, okay? But it's going to be like huge. And in March, and then you'll be like, oh, wait, wait, this reading has to do with me, okay? I mean, if you get snow, like in Florida, or you're getting it in Australia, you need to reach out to me because I think we need to have a conversation. What the heck's going on? <laughs> Although I guess they are getting really strange weather. The, the climate's shifting a little bit. I think the parameters are shifting a bit. But anyway, yeah, there's going to be some uh, clarity, good communication. Things are going to come into balance here with someone and or, and, and or in your life. A new beginning. March feels really good. Like the, the emotional roller coaster that you might feel like you're on right now. Look at those ships up and down and up and down and trying to maintain kind of like being on a surfboard and trying not to fall off things will level out what goes what comes down must go up what goes up must come down excuse me and i mean some of you are going to this is a little bit of juggling so maybe some of you're going to take up some juggling or practice juggling i'm just hearing this is very much what goes around comes around because we do have an infinity symbol so the infinity symbol is significant for someone here but i feel like timing is really really important and I, I feel like the overall message here for you is you know if you've got someone that you're waiting on i feel like march you will be connecting with this person um and if you have a, a situation that you're trying to let go of or you're trying to you know, some of you are setting your New Year's resolutions already and maybe you just put it off for whatever reason. March looks like for some of you, that's when it's really going to start kicking off for you. That you're just going to be like, you know, you might have like, okay, I'm going to do what I need to do for the next couple months and I'm going to set, a, a, I'm going to start my new thing in March, okay? And, and that's when I feel like that's what this message just a few more months good things come to those who wait okay some of you might need to wait for some reason to do something and you have to wait until they just keep telling me in the spring march 21st or the like the third month of the year yep some of you are having a baby or have a connection with someone who's going to give birth in march absolutely Some of you are going to get some kind of surgery done. March is going to be it. You just have to wait. Just be patient. It will happen. There's like even I know the Empress is Libra energy. Can be Taurus. We have Leo and Aquarius as well. I do feel like though, look at the three. The three does. Some of you are just going to start an all fruit diet in March. You'd be like, I'm fasting. I'm just doing fruit. Um which is good because even though fruit does have sugar it has fiber so it, it breaks down slowly in your body so you don't have to worry about high sugar rush with fruit um i guess unless you're eating like watermelon or something i mean blueberries are good that kind of stuff but anyway there's a major shift and a major change and it's all going to be in your favor so you got to hang in there so you know some of you might get off this reading and just be like what is she even talking about i don't even know but maybe that's when you need to get a notebook and be like hmm what things would i like to change that i can't start right now or that i plan to start but i wasn't able to do it I, and i could actually make my start date start date or quit date in march what can i do right so get working on that okay um no rush just do what works best for you and as far as like a relationship goes you know if you have like something that you and another person really cannot connect until later that's when you just really need to let go and just let things flow and when you know be patient and when when that third month comes I feel like then, you know, hey, stuff starts kicking off for you and another person. It could also be about a job. You can't, you're not going to leave 
or you have a job lined up and it doesn't start until March, you need to be patient, not try to push through anything, just go about your days, be happy, that kind of thing. Any more messages for Virgo? Okay, the Hermit, good. A lot of self-reflection. All right, Five of Pentacles. So don't focus on the negative. You might get into that position here where you're just like, oh man, I feel broke, busted, and disgusted, or I'm not going to have any more money. Things are going to turn around for you, okay? Um, reflect on stuff and take a look at your finances if you need to. Um, some of you, I'm hearing, they're saying... Um, Give a helping hand to someone who's in a worse position than you are, and that will that will help you get a, a more gra grateful, um, uh, help you be more grateful, have more gratitude for yourself, for your life. You might be thinking about this right now. How can I be of like? How can I help another person or people who are in a worse situation than I am? It's a little bit of charity. I feel like even though it's not a charity card, they are kind of walking past like a church they're trying to keep the faith even though they're struggling you might be bringing faith to people or helping people with your wisdom and your knowledge so that might be something yes for you to do and look yeah that actually this feels like a real strong self-esteem card so if your self-esteem is kind of low for whatever reason um which can happen we can all some people have the highest self-esteem and then boom one thing happens and then they're just down for the count for whatever reason Helping other people increases your self-esteem. That's how that happens. Helping people who are less fortunate than you increases your self-esteem. You know, because it's it's character building. It's, it's not, okay, well, I'm going to go get my hair done. Yeah, that will increase your self-esteem, but until your hair grows out and then you got to go do it again. No, helping other people and people being thankful to you for having care and compassion in your heart to give to another person, that sticks with you for life. That's character building. Getting your hair done and surgery on your lips is not character building. <laughs> That's a false self-esteem. If you want to get that done, it makes you feel better. Go for it. But there's something here, the message that Spirit is saying, get out there and help other people because that gives you all the riches in the world. There's You can't put a, a monetary value on that. When someone's grateful to you, for something that you went out of your way to do for them, they, they remember it forever, and they and they remember you like that forever, and that's like good good karma points. All right, Virgo, I'm gonna leave that there. Hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the like button on your way out if you enjoy my readings. We just hit 10 million views. Well, last week actually, but yay, super happy. Thanks to the mods for being here, and I will see you all back here tomorrow bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading please remember to book subscribe like do all the great things um and i hope that you guys have a fantastic blessed loving and light filled life thank you bye